Hello, everybody. So this is for converting between degrees and radians. And without focusing too much at the moment on what a radian is, just know it's another way to measure an angle. Like Fahrenheit is a way to measure a temperature. So is Celsius, or so is Kelvin. They're all measuring the same thing. They're just a different scale. OK, that's what radians are. And how you distinguish just by looking at whether something is in degrees or radians is if I said 22 degrees, that's in degrees. It has the degree symbol. If I just said 22, that's 22 radians because it doesn't have a symbol with it. So it's super important. If you guys want to say degrees, you got to put the degree symbol. Okay. Now, to go from degrees to radians or from radians to degrees, this is what you're going to multiply by. And I'll explain that as we go, okay? But just giving you the facts. Say you want to convert uh, 40 degrees. I would multiply by this and simplify the fraction, and your answer would be in radians. Oops. That's an A. It's supposed to be an A. If I told you 5 radians and you want to convert it to degrees, you would multiply 5 times this. OK? It's fine and dandy if you guys remember, memorize this, OK? I think it's a little bit hard to remember which one do I use, because they're just reciprocals of each other, is all that they are. They're just reciprocals, OK? How I remember it instead is I put what I want on the top and what I want to get rid of on the bottom. Let's go back to this example of 40 degrees. I want radians. So that symbol is going to, so I know it's pi. There's no degree symbol with it, so that's why it's radians. And what I want to get rid of are degrees. It's not that it's 180 is what I want to get rid of. It's degrees are on the bottom. That's what I want to get rid of. So that belongs on the bottom. If you had um, 4 pi, Notice there's no degree symbol with it, or 8. There's no degree symbol with it. What I want to get rid of, so this is times, what I want to get rid of are radians. This doesn't have a degree symbol with it, so that goes on the bottom, because that's what I want to get rid of. What I want are degrees. So degrees go on top. What you want to get rid of is on the bottom. What you want to get is on the top. Okay. So let's try it. Convert this to degrees. I want degrees. So degrees go on top and radians go on the bottom. So 47 pi over 12. I'm going to launch the calculator while I'm doing this. Okay, so back to this. Times what I want. I want degrees. So that goes on the top. This goes on the bottom. It doesn't have a degree symbol, so it's radians. Get rid of radians. I want degrees. Okay, I want this. Okay, I need to get degrees as an answer. So that means I want to get rid of radians. Okay. Now, as you guys know, when you multiply fractions, you go straight across. So that would be 47 pi times 180 degrees over 12 pi. And absolutely, as you guys know, Something on the top and the bottom when you're multiplying can cancel out. So the pi's cancel out. I could have canceled them back here. Now to show you on your calculator how to reduce this. Okay, just going to bring this up. Maybe I'll pull it over here. So clear. Okay, 47 times 180. 47 times 180 is then being divided by. That's the horizontal bar. It's being divided by 12. Divided by 12. Enter. Now you're getting 705. Okay? That's your answer. 705 degrees. Okay? That's it. You're done. Okay. This one's a little bit harder. Two and a half radians. So 2.5 radians. I want to get rid of radians so radians go on the bottom. I want degrees. Degrees go on top. Okay? On this one, it's a little bit harder because, and you're just multiplying straight across, the pi isn't canceling out. 
whereas it did cancel on the last one. So that's only slightly harder. Type the sucker in your calculator and just run with it. So 2.5 times 180 divided by, and pi is shift the exponent button, second exponent button, enter. And it said round to the nearest tenth. So that would be the first decimal place. This is a three, so it's lower. So this all gets chopped off. 143.2. 143.2 degrees. Okay. That's your answer. All right. Convert 0.5 radians to degrees. Okay, so a half a radian times, I want to get rid of radians. I want to get degrees. So a half 0.5 times 180, as you guys know, is 90. So that's, I mean, I could have done it in the calculator, okay? So it's just 90 divided by pi. So 90 divided by pi. Round to the nearest uh, tenth, so that would be 28.6. So 28.6 degrees. Okay. Convert five force radians to degrees. Okay, five, sorry, five pi over four. I'm sorry, I didn't say that correctly. I want to get rid of radians. I want to get degrees. What you want is on top. What you want to get rid of is on the bottom. Pi's can cancel out. Now you're multiplying straight across. I certainly can reduce the 4 and 180, but we can also, if you guys don't know that in the top of your head, I'll just run it through the calculator. So now, uh, calculator. So you go 5 times 180 divided by 4. 225. So 225 degrees. Okay. Convert um, this degree into radians. So I want to get rid of degrees, and I want to get radians. So degrees go on the bottom. The degrees can cancel. This zero can cancel. I know you probably see other numbers in there, so how about a two can go in there, so 15 and nine. A three can go in there, so how about five and three? There's nothing else to reduce, so now you just go straight across. So that's 5 pi over 3, and that's your answer, okay? Now, in case you didn't uh, want to do any of that manually, let me show you how to do it with calculator. Times pi over 180. See what we get. So that's 300 pi divided by 180. Oh. That was 300 degrees, but the degrees cancel. So there you go. So it's 300 pi over 180. So you can type that in the calculator. Don't type the pi in. That's the biggest key here. Don't type pi in. Okay? Just the 300 and 180. Okay? It, this won't work if you type the pi in. So 300 divided by 180. Enter. You get this thing. Don't write that. It doesn't say anything about rounding. Go math, enter, enter, five-thirds, put the five and the three. So let me show you that again. You guys went 300 divided by 180, enter, got some decimal, math, and just hit enter twice, once, twice, there it is, and put the pi back on, okay? If you type the pi in, it's not going to work, it won't be able to convert it, okay? So this is 240. I want radians. I want to get rid of degrees. So that goes on the bottom. Again, degrees would cancel. Zeros would cancel. If you don't want to take this any further, you can type it in your calculator. Oops, 24. 24 pi over 18. You're welcome to do it manually. I'll do that in a second, but just to show you. So don't type the pi in. 24 divided by 18. Math, enter, enter. Four thirds, four thirds, and the pi is still there. Typically, the pi goes in the numerator. Okay. Let's do it manually. I'm looking at this, and I'm seeing um, there's a six that'll go into both of them, four and three. So you're left with four pi over three. Okay. Convert 195. 
So radians on top, degrees on the bottom. So degrees will cancel. So right now I'm left with 195 pi over 180. And I don't know what that's worth. No idea. So you go 195, don't type the pi in. You get this funky decimal. And so then you go math, enter, enter. Oh, I typed it in wrong. I typed in 95. Okay, let me do that again. 195 divided by 180. Sorry about that, you guys. Then you go math, enter, enter. So the pi is still there. So you got 13 pi over 12 would be your answer. Okay? So what you want is on top. What you want to get rid of is on the bottom. Degrees cancels. So you're left with 525 pi over 180. And you got to reduce this much of it. The pi is still going to be there. So grab your handy dandy donculator and you go 525 divided by 180. Whoops. 525 divided by 180 is that. And then you go math, enter, enter. So 30, 35, 12. There you go. Okay, that's all you guys need. Thank you for your time. Have yourself a great one.